In this week's episode, the 66th mega mouth shark ever seen, a new trend in China spells big trouble for hornbills, rare photos of Saharan cheetahs, and a polar bear on the London underground? Get the scoop now in your two-minute roundup of wildlife news. Demand for ornate carvings has given rise to a disturbing new trend, carvings from helmeted hornbill beak. The beak now fetches up to five times the price of ivory on the Chinese market. With habitat loss already against them, the trend could be the last nail in the species' coffin. Speaking of coffins, a rare megamouth shark washed up dead this week in the Philippines. Sightings like this are rare. The species wasn't discovered until 1976. Only two living megamouths have ever been studied, and this is only the 66th one ever seen. In more rare sighting news, after deploying camera traps for a thousand nights, Algerian scientists have finally photographed the critically endangered Saharan cheetah, one of the rarest big cats in the world. To find out more, check out the link in the video description. Staying in Africa, it appears Hungry Hungry Hippos has taken an unexpected turn. Scientists in the Kruger National Park have documented one of the first cases of cannibalism in hippos. Mostly thought to be herbivores, hippos have actually been spotted eating a slew of meaty treats, including fish and impala. Off to the States and a breakthrough in shark breeding. Meet Fern, a 20-year-old zebra shark at California's Aquarium of the Pacific. Fern isn't just any old shark. Her two pups are the first ever conceived using artificial insemination. This breakthrough could seriously help battle population declines. Staying in the States, where Hawaiian seabirds are in the midst of a battle with ants. Invasive yellow crazy ants have been attacking native birds with formic acid. The effects are so bad, the birds are abandoning their nesting sites. U.S. Fish and Wildlife hope to curb the ants' reign in time for the next mating season. Say it with us, invasive species suck. Off to Oz and orchid mantids. We've known about these beautiful bugs for more than 100 years, but new research has changed what we know about their hunting strategy. As it turns out, they don't just camp out in flowers, but actively mimic them on twigs and branches. From twigs and branches to twigs and berries. Pollution in the Arctic appears to be weakening polar bear penis bones. More research needs to be done, but this bizarre link definitely takes the title of this week's weirdest. A polar bear also made headlines in the UK this week, only this one wasn't real. The lifelike bear took to the underground to promote a new series filmed in the Arctic. In the face of climate change, we hope animatronic won't someday be the only way to enjoy these iconic animals. We're wrapping up with a baby rhino. The birth was filmed at Copenhagen Zoo and marks the first rhino born there in 35 years. That's it for this week, but don't forget to get in touch via the website, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time!